Hello and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to solve this integral from the MIT Integration B qualifying uh, test. You can look it up on the internet if you want to. And uh, let's start. So uh, my first tip, whenever you have an integral with something with a sum in the denominator, you really want to kind of uh, make a substitution so it all fits together in one variable. You prefer just one object in the denominator rather than a sum. A sum is always nasty to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is to just uh, take one plus the square root of x and, uh, and merge it into this variable t. Now we have to find what uh, dt is, so we need to replace the differential and we're doing it uh, in the following way. Just find the derivative of dt with respect to x. Derivative of one is zero. Derivative of uh, the square root of, uh, of x is one over two, because you bring the uh, one half in front, times the square root of x, because it is one half minus one is minus one half. And uh, don't forget to put the dx here. So if we move two times the square root of x to the other side, so we just isolate the dx on one side, we get the following. And uh, we can also replace x and square root of x uh, in terms of t, since we have this uh, relationship here between the two. So the square root of x equals to just bring the one to the other side, t minus one. And if we want x, we, we just square both sides, we get x equals to t minus 1 squared. Now we can replace everything into the integral here. So we have our, our nice integral, the x, we replace it by t minus 1 squared. Then we have plus the square root of x. The square root of x is nothing but t minus 1, so just plus t minus 1, or divided by t. And uh, we replace the dx with uh, 2 times the square root of x dt. So let's do it. 2, we can put uh, the 2 in front, uh, since we, we, we can just plug the constant, take the constant and put it outside the integral sign. And uh, the square root of x is t minus 1. So I'm going to replace it by uh, t minus with uh, t minus one dt this time. Now we can uh, first firstly uh, compute the square of t minus one. So it's easy t squared minus two t plus one plus t minus one, and all of this is multiplied by t minus one. And we basically divide everything by t, and don't forget the dt. Now we could go straight into the multiplication, but when you're doing integrals, especially MIT integration B, you want to take shortcuts. You don't want to get into uh, weird calculations, uh, and especially long calculations, because you, first it takes longer, but you could also make mistakes. So we want to take the fastest route. So we're going to first uh, sum these two, and uh, we can cancel uh, plus one and minus one. And we basically get here, I'm going to write it above uh, the integral, t squared minus two t, uh, two t plus t is minus t. Can we multiply now? No, because we can do another thing. Look at this. We can factor out a t in the numerator, then we have t minus 1 times t minus 1, but this is nothing but t minus 1 squared, because we, we took a t outside the t squared minus t, or divided by t dt. And this simplifies the integral a lot, because we can get rid of the, these two t's, and we have this nice integral, the integral of t minus 1 squared. Now, we, you could do and use a u substitution, u equals t minus 1, and uh, nothing changes actually because the derivative of 1 is 0, so the differential remains the same. 
So all in all, what you have is two divided by three because we have to add one to the exponent and bring it to the denominator y when we integrate uh, x to the n. And uh, then we have t minus one to the third power plus the integration constant. But t minus one, we have to get back to the x world. So t minus one is the square root of x. So this is two thirds square root of x to the third power plus the integration constant. But uh, x to the square root of x is x to the one halves. And all of this is to the third power. So we just multiply the exponents. This is two thirds x to the, we first have three over two plus c. And this is the answer to the integral. In the next video, we're going to solve another integral. This was easy, but uh, as we do more integrals, they're going to become more and more difficult. So uh, check the other video if you're interested in more difficult ones.